Now we've been doing the bulk of our work in a 10-1 machine, because we humans really like the number 10. And in a 10-1 machine, remember dots are worth 1, or 10, or 100, or 1,000, or 10,000, and so on. But we did actually mention very early on that there are other types of machines, like a 2-1 machine. And here dots are worth 1, and 2, and 4, and 8, and 16, and so on. And a 3-1 machine has dots worth 1, and 3, and 9, and 27, 81, and so on. Lots of different types of machines. Now it would be really nice to have some sort of notation that sort of unifies the types of numbers we're getting here for dot values. And mathematicians have such notations called exp exponent notation. For example, if I write the number 10 with a little superscript 2, that superscript means multiply the number 10 by itself two times to give me 100. Or 10 superscript 3, 10 cubed, is 10 multiplied by itself three times to give myself 1,000. So there's 1,000, there's 100. Or 2 to the superscript 7 will be multiplied by the number 2 by itself seven times. It's so going to be a big number. I think it's going to be uh, 128. So there is a very handy notation for repeated multiplication, which is actually very handy because it now unifies these machines. For example, I could rewrite the numbers here for the dot values of the 10 machine as 1 and 10. 100 is really 10 squared. 1,000 is really 10 cubed. 10 to the fourth and so on. Here's 1, 2, here's 2 squared, so 1, 2, 2 squared, here's 2 cubed, here's 2 to the fourth and so on. Here's 1, 3, 9 is really 3 times 3, 3 squared, 27 is really 3 times 3 times 3, 3 cubed, that's really 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 3 to the fourth and so on. And now we've got this lovely uniform notation for the dot values in all different types of machines. Very handy.